Hello learners, are you ready to dive into a topic that's making waves around the world? Today, we are diving into sea level rise, why it's happening and why we should care. Before we splash in, please hit that subscribe button to join our friendly community here at Let's Do. Let's get started. Alright, before we jump into the causes and effects, let's break down what sea level rise actually is. Picture this, the level of the sea, the giant body of water that surrounds our continent, isn't fixed. It can move up and down. When we talk about sea level rising, we mean that the average level of the sea across the entire planet is getting higher. Why? Well, primarily because of two big reasons, melting ice from glaciers and polar regions and the expansion of seawater as it hits up. Imagine putting an ice cube in the glass of water. As it melts, the water level in the glass rises. That's a simple way to visualize what's happening to our oceans as ice melts from various parts of the world. So, sea level rise isn't just about the water. It's also about temperature, ice and how they are all interconnected. Got it? Great. Now let's dive into why this is happening and what it means for us and our planet. Cause number one, melting ice. As the earth gets warmer, ice at the north and south poles is melting fast. Imagine the amount of water in 100 million Olympic sized swimming pools. That's how much ice Greenland is losing every year. And this water is flowing into the seas, making them rise. Cause two, water getting bigger. You know how a cake rises in the oven? Well, water expands when it gets warm. Our planet is heating up. So the water in our ocean is getting warmer and taking up more space. Cause 3. Human activities Besides natural factors, we humans are playing a significant role. Our factories, cars and even our homes releases gases that trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. This is called the greenhouse effect and a warmer atmosphere means warmer oceans. With the causes clear, what happens when the sea levels continue to rise? Let's find out. Effect number 1. Coastal flooding As the sea rises, they start to invade the land. This isn't just a problem of small island nations. Big cities like New York, Tokyo and Mumbai are at risk too. Regular flooding can make these places tough to live in. Effect number 2. Loss of habitat Not just people but plants and animals suffer too. As salt water creeps island, it can kill planets and force animals to move. This could lead to some species becoming endangered or even extinct. Effect number 3. Economic impact Sea level rise can damage valuable infrastructure, disrupt key industries such as tourism and fishing and reduce the land available for agriculture and living. This can lead to significant economic losses around the globe. We have seen the rising tides and their effects. But are we just spectators? Let's explore what we can do. Simple acts like reducing energy use, planting trees and supporting renewable energy can fight sea level rise. Remember, every small action counts. It starts with being aware and making choices that are kinder to our planet. And there we have it. Learners, a deep dive into the rising level of our oceans why it's happening and the ripples it's sending around our world. If this has sparkled your curiosity, make sure hit the like button and share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more enlightening topics. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.